since I posted my last video. So I'm sorry, but now it's coming in new video. We will be talking about running in winter. During winter, most of us has difficulties to follow our training. Due to difficult weather, the days are getting shorter and there is of course perceived higher risk of injury. But at the same time, winter is a great time to work on your mileage and build up your aerobic base. I've been living in Iceland for seven years and I can contest that running in winter can be quite hard. Today I will give you five tips which I follow to make running and training in winter more bearable. Tip number one, sign for a gym. While running outside for me is always better, especially in Iceland, there is, uh, the weather does not permit it. So having a pass for a gym does not give you excuse not to be running. If the weather is really bad, I just go for one hour treadmill session in order to follow my training plan. Tip number two, always check weather forecast. In winter, I always plan my trainings according to the weather forecast as long as my schedule permits. It is always better to run in favorable weather conditions than follow the schedule you created months ago. Running under bad conditions does not only increase your risk of getting ill and hence making your progress harder, but also make it psychologically less tempting to go running or make you. Knowing weather conditions also helps you to plan your run better and gives you idea how should you run. Should you go for a short run just around your place or short loops around your place? If the weather is good, you can just go for a long run. If wind is an issue, I prefer to run the first half against the wind so I can kind of relax on the way back. Tip number three, dress just enough to keep warm. Winter can be quite tricky regarding clothing since you have to find balance between feeling warm and sweating. Since wet fabric is less insulating than a dry one, sweating in sub-zero temperature can increase your chance to get ill. There are literally hundreds of products for winter running on the market, but I do only own very few winter specific clothes. Instead of focusing on specific winter gear, I prefer to layer. In order to achieve thermic balance, I prefer to use multiple layers of shirts and light windproof uh, jacket on the top. I do somewhere between three and four layers according to temperature. For bottom, I always recommend to use underwear. I prefer to have long skiing or uh, compression socks, pair these tights for cross-country skiing. I found cross-country skiing tights much more pleasant for running than just uh, winter running tights. But of course, if you wish, you can of course have thermal area under and put the running tights on the top. For all my runs, I always carry two buffs and one pair of gloves, just in case it gets colder. Tip number four, find good running shoes for winter. I cannot stress this enough. During winter, most of my favorite trails turns into ob obstacle covers with uh, uh, snow banks, ice spills, and sometimes broken trees. It's better to have shoes which can handle it. Most of my winter running I do in a sturdy trail shoes which I found are giving me enough support and also they are kind of uh, waterproof or kind of water resistant. If ice is an issue, you can use ice spikes, which are basically screws, specific screws you can put on the outsole, or you can just use actually regular screws, which you can buy in a, in a store. Just find out that they are not too long, that they would be pinching you in the feet. And of course, there are also specific shoes for winter running and if you're living in areas where winters can be quite long I suggest to buy one of those. I've personally tried on my feet salmon spike cross 
which is basically speed cross uh, with the spikes on the bottom. Great for ice running. And then there is of course um, Salmon Snowcross Ultra, which is ultimate shoe for uh, snow running. But basically any good trail running shoe will do. Just remember, harder material on the bottom, less grip you're gonna get on ice. And a final fifth tip for winter running. Be visible, be safe. I cannot stress this enough. Many times you will be forced to run in conditions with limited light or visibility. And so you have to try to make yourself as visible as possible, especially for cars and others. I use reflective straps on my angles. Always pack a headlamp with me if I'm planning to run late. I also carry my phone during winter, since even small accidents can be lethal within a few hours. These were my five tips for winter running. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed watching my video and ready to get some miles in. How do you like running in winter? Would you suggest more tips for, for our viewers? Just share down below this video and just put down a comment, just put comment down under this video and thank you for watching, I will see you next time.